Hey, it's Owen from Animal Audio, and this week we're going to look at some new plugins from Noise Engineering. In fact, they're so new, these are beta testing plugins, so we're going to mess around with them and also report any bugs that we find. Noise Engineering is a super cool and very geeky modular Eurorack synthesizer manufacturer and plugin maker out of Los Angeles. It was started by a couple maybe 10 years ago and has rapidly expanded since. I can't tell you exactly what came first in their world, the plugins or the synthesizer development, but they both work hand in hand for the company. In fact, their motto is get out of the box and back in, which is something I highly endorse. I'm still lucky enough to sometimes get to work on all analog projects. And when I work on digital projects, I love to have something outboard and tactile to play with to strengthen my mixes and just create a new texture that I sometimes cannot get digitally or just mess with the sound further and create better mixes. Now to the plugins. Today I'm gonna to be playing with the Ruiner Stereo Distortion, the Sync Varia Synth and the Vert Varia Synth. The Ruiner is built on digital distortion algorithms, so it's not emulating anything else, unlike, say, the Soundtoys Decapitator. So you've got a brand new sound and a creative new world to work within. It can move from lush hairiness to absolute destruction. So let's take a look at its features. We've got volume in and out. We have a blend, which is a wet and dry balance control. We've got overdrive, which is the amount of gain up to 128 times before it hits the rest of the distortion types. We've got phase, creating stereo width and of phasing effects. Fold, which is a wave folder based on the noise engineering infinity folder that appears on many of their Eurorack modules. We've got center, the width and position of the multiband saturator center band and of the filter when set to mobile. Saturate, multiband saturator emphasizing four different bands. Octavize, a full wave rectification distortion. Doom, a sub octave chorus. As you turn it up, the more out of tune it becomes. Buzz, adds an overall buzz to the signal, creating width and high frequency content. Filter level, setting the intensity of the filter. Filter track, setting the filter to a fixed frequency or to follow the frequency of the center parameter. Filter type, changes the filter from a notch in cancilla mode and a resonant aggressive bandpass filter in bossio mode. Flow, changes the signal chain of the distortion. And lastly, presets for the people. Across all the plugins, you'll find a config page with selectable graphics color and this little fire edition for the text just for some visual fun, I guess. Now, the Sync Varia Synth. It's loosely based on Noise Engineering's module, the Sync Ita, which is a wave folding, wave morphing tone control. It's got all the controls you'd expect from a fairly deep synthesizer, plus a bank of presets and a chorus section that's maybe similar to the Roland Juno chorus or other classic synthesizer chorus sections. Let's take a look at the sync varia features. We've got mode, selects one of three synthesis algorithms used for sound generation. Noise is a unique type of self-similar pitched noise. Plane is a wave morphing, wave folding oscillator that continuously curves through standard waveforms and folded signs. Super is the same as plane, but adds six phase offset oscillators to create chorusing and phasing effects. Next, we've got tone, which changes the density in noise mode or the waveform in plane and super modes. Here we've got our attack, decay, sustain and release sections, exactly what you'd expect.
we've got slope, which changes the curve of the attack decay and release stages of the envelope. We've got volume, filter mix, and resonance, which is a resonance control for the filter, envelope amount, cutoff, pitch track, which controls how much the filter's frequency tracks the notes being played, LP, BP and HP, which sets the filter type, low pass, band pass or high pass, chorus, and we've got some presets too. And lastly, the Vert Viria. This is a powerful synthesizer based on algorithms noise engineering contributed to the Arturia version 3 Micro Freak. Let's take a look at its features. Bass is based on an algorithm described in the seminal 70s newsletter series Electronotes by Bernie Hutchins. Saw X is an extreme sawtooth, and Harm is an additive algorithm. And the rest of this thing has the same controls as this sync synth, so you know what they do already. So now we've done our walkthrough, let's see what they can do. I've recorded some live drums in, I recorded some chords through the sync varia, and I recorded a bass line through the vert varia. I'm going to distort the drums and distort the vert varia too, and see how nasty it can get. Alright, let's get started.
And there we have it, the Ruiner, the Sync Varia, and the Vert Varia from Noise Engineering. Now I'm not an authority on modular synthesizers, but I think these are very versatile and cool sounding units. These are both well thought out versatile units with plenty of sounds and textures just waiting to be modulated. The Ruiner Distortion is definitely a cool plugin and not being bound by emulation, it is a whole new textural world. You're not trying to emulate a guitar amp or a tape machine, so instead you have a whole new playground to mess with. You can just run wild and take it to new places. It kind of reminds me of when I was delivering pizzas years ago. I dropped some pizzas off at this guy's place and he had a massive modular wall in there. And he asked everyone to come take a look. I went in and he played some drums through it and started distorting it. And it was a super cool new sound that I wasn't used to hearing. Usually I'd process drums in a more tasteful, subtle way. But this was great. This is creative and definitely different. So, is this plugin worth grabbing? Well, currently it's in public beta, so it's free. So what's stopping you? And if you find any bugs, you can report them too. Nothing broke when I was using it, but if something breaks on you, tell the company and they'll make an even better product. It was even updated over the course of me making this video and was less buggy afterwards. Cool. Thanks for tuning in and we'll catch you next week for more stuff.